Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Grace Lee's Cards. Um, today we have something special. Um, I was, uh, my wife was out at Walmart and they have Heritage High Number Blasters. I'm pretty sure Heritage High Number doesn't come out until December 10th. Um, so this was there kind of by mistake, I believe. Um, I could be wrong and they could be putting the blasters out before they start selling the hobby boxes, but that seems weird. Um... So hopefully this is like a preview video for you guys who are out to get the Topps Heritage High number. Um, so yeah, the only thing that's really int well, it's interesting that it's out, but there's this hair that is underneath the plastic uh, with the box. So that's kind of gross. Um, but anyway, um, I was only able to get one box at our Walmart, though this Walmart, one of my other Walmarts, they were like, no, there's no limit. But my Walmart in um, an effort at Pennsylvania was stocked with this and Chronicles and um, Tops update, um, lots of different things. But um, so I was like, well, I'll get this because this is shouldn't even be out yet. Um, so seven packs plus one extra pack. Um, look for exclusive Tops Venezuela stamps. So that's something. It says looks look for autographs and relics. Um, so here are our odds. Here it looks like we should get a short print in this box. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Heritage, but we'll give it high number a try. I believe the Andrew Vaughn, Kelnick, they should be in here. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think who else wasn't in the first round. They had a good amount. I'm pretty sure Keith, yeah, Keith Brian Hayes was in the first round of this. Um, so let's see how this looks. Um, get that hair out of there. Um, let's open this bad boy up. Frankie Lindor on the cover. Let's see here, let's see the pack design, because I haven't seen, you know, obviously I haven't seen this anywhere. So, pack design, pretty much the same, just a little bit different in the colors. Um, I don't have any, um, um, just regular heritage around to compare, but, um, I believe it's a little bit bluer and purple, I want to say. Um, but yeah, pretty neat. I'm pretty excited to be able to open up uh, this before it comes out. Uh, nine cards per pack. So let's see how this goes now. Obviously, it probably looks exactly the same as the others. Um, but we are looking for kind of the rookies that we couldn't get in the first round of things. So let's give it a go. Gavin Lux, Seth Romara, Romero. I guess I'll put the good cards on the side. So we'll have time to do the Grace Lee 5. There's Luis Patino in his Rays uniform. Chadwick Trump, Mickey Moniak. Wow, we're getting lots of rookies. And, and these ones are all... And Isaac Paredes. So these ones are all um, kind of just the regular card ones now in the Series 1. Most of the rookies were paired with somebody else or three people. And they had all those in-action rookie cards too. So, so far we're kind of just seeing the regular base cards um, for this set. Where's Andres Jimenez in his Cleveland uniform. Mastanola, Alex Young, Alejandro Kirk. There's a rookie performer insert, I'm guessing that is, for Alec Bohm. Oh, and there's the Jazz Chisholm. Okay, that's a good one. Is this all rookie cards? Is that all we're getting? <laughs> no, we got a couple couple base cards, mostly rookie cards. Hey, um, I guess I'll take it. That's what I'd be going for anyway. But we got the Jazz Chisholm. I'd love to get the Kelnick. I'm guessing Kelnick, India, Vaughn, um, Jazz Chisholm, Taylor Trammell, maybe Daz Cameron. I'm not sure. Those guys are probably all in here. Jackie Bradley Jr. had a terrible year. Um, yeah, they asked him, "Do you wanna? Are you gonna opt into your second part of the contract?" And he's like, "Yep," because I was terrible. Adonis Medina, Luis Alexander Basabe. I pulled his autograph in Prism this year. Let's see what else we got here. So yeah, so we got just kind of we got one one insert, a whole bunch of base cards. They didn't do anything super flashy, it looks like. Um, at least not with the blasters. And Chang, Ryan McKenna, not even put him aside. Dane Dunning, I'll put him aside. Shirt and Apostle. So kind of just oh my gosh, they have a Chris Davis. Why did they bother doing that? Oh man. Boy, hey, there's Jonathan India. Sorry, Chris Davis, who you know, retired, um, didn't play at all this year, barely played at all last year. They gave him a card. Jonathan India is our good one. So we pulled that one. Oh, that was another rookie. Yeah, this is like almost all these packs are all rookie cards. 
one or two um, base cards filled with a ton of rookie cards. So Jazz Chisholm and Jonathan India, we pulled both of those. Brent Rooker, it's a base card. Manny Machado, Ray Ona, Kyle Garlack, Tyler Zuber, Nick Matone, Austin Barnes. We've got about three packs left. Let's see, we've probably got a variation <clears throat> already. Is that Shane McClanahan on the back? Yep. Another rookie card. There's Ozzy Albies. Valdo Rodriguez, Patrick Weigel, Sal Bando, I don't know who that is, 1972 World Series card, insert, nothing special to me, Tyler Wade, who just got signed by somebody, I can't remember who it was, but he did um, get designated for assignment, I believe, and got signed by somebody, Andrew Haney, I believe also got signed, but he was on the Yankees, I think, and terrible, and he got signed by somebody, too. Shane McClanahan. McClanahan's a good one. <clears throat> he had a good year last year. I'm um, interested to see how he does. Him and Luis Patino and Tyler Glass now. Um, they might have some a really good rotation there. Eddie Alvarez. Alex Kirloff. I forgot about Kirloff, that he was going to be in this one. Oh, it looks like we have a Chrome one coming up. Let's put that one aside. Marcel Garcia, Taylor Rogers, and we have a Jared Oliva Chrome rookie card numbered out of 999. 996 of 999 just made it. So that's pretty good. He's not a bad prospect to get. All right. Jonathan Wise, David Bodie, Luis Arise, Luis Castillo. We got one more to go. I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing who the... We should have gotten, what, two variations, probably. And the way you're going to figure that out is by looking at the... Um, hey, there's a cool Sean Murphy with the gold cup. You're going to look at the numbers on the bottom of the card. So right down there, that's 7-9. Now if we look at the next one, because I'm kind of curious if that one is one of them. 7-9. Nope. Oh, so that's how we're going to find whether or not it's a variation. So we're going to just find the ones that don't have that 7-9 on the bottom. Santiago Espinal, who actually had a pretty good year. I pulled his autograph in one of the hobby boxes I bought. Of, I think it was Series 2. Yeah, it was Series 2. David Price, Taylor Widener, and Xander Bogarts. Ooh, that could be it. Let's see how he's in the... Nope. Okay, so let me go through some of these. Let's see if I can find the... Uh, <clears throat> see if I can find the short print real quick. Um... I'm going to kind of do that off, well, kind of do it on screen, I guess. Somewhat on screen, off screen. 79. I'll try to do it with you guys. 79. 87. So who do we have here? We have David David Dahl with the short print. Yay. So let's see who else we have. We should have probably one more. 79. Now the other thing is that sometimes there's French backs too. I'm not sure. What, uh, if the 87 is short print or if it's a French back, I didn't really look. I just saw the 87. All right, where's our other one? Sorry if this is boring, everybody, but I thought it'd be interesting to do on camera. 79, that's an insert. 79, 79. 87, okay. <clears throat> Brandon Woodruff. That would be our other short print. That's not as bad. That's not a bad one. Um, okay, so we're going to... I can look through the other ones later or something like that. I don't have to bore you guys with finding them, but I found the two that we were supposed to get. David Dahl, Brandon Woodruff. Let's go through see some of these cards. Now, I think I think the Jared Oliva is probably going to be the number one because it's Chrome. He's not a bad rookie there. So we're going to do our Grace Lee 5 here. We have Alex Kirloff in our pile. Um, maybe McClanahan, let's see here. Donovan India's yep. Um, now you guys can feel free to correct me here. Alright, I think those are the ones I was kind of thinking in my head. <clears throat> I'm not, I probably won't put any of the short prints in. One and three for short print. I think these rookies are probably worth more than those. So I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with Jonathan India, Alex Kirloff. Yeah, I'm not even going to put the bone. Oh, what do you guys think? I'm going to go. I'll go with the bone. Clan hand's good, but 
It's a picture, so I'm a little bit more iffy. And that is going to be our Grace Lee 5. So there you go, guys. There's a couple of the cards that you can see in this Topps uh, Heritage High number. Get a chance. Get out there and get it if it's on the shelves. Um, I could be wrong, and they just put it out when it's supposed to. But from what I saw online, December 10th. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great Thanksgiving, and uh, I'll see you next time.